Hi everyone, it's me Liz. Welcome to episode 7 of the No Plan B Journey. In this week's No Plan B Journey, I went full monk mode. Monk mode is a state of deep concentration and intense focus with no distractions, no BS, and no slacking off. And um, speaking of distractions, I'm not actually using this, so let's put that away. I was first introduced to this topic by Iman Ghazi, and it piqued my interest. I'm all about deep work and intense focus, so monk mode seems like the perfect concentration tool for me to use. During monk mode, there are a few non-negotiables that one can or cannot do during the period of time that monk mode is activated. And my non-negotiables are 10 minutes of meditation every single day, 30 minutes of exercise every single day, no intake of substances such as drugs and alcohol, no processed food, less than 15 minutes of social media usage, and work on my projects and business every single day. I use the Habit Share app to track progress, and I set actionable SMART goals to achieve by the end of every single day. SMART goals are goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. A goal without a plan is just a dream, and a plan without action is meaningless. To reach a goal, we must have objectives and i see the smart and smart goals as the objectives we must be specific with what we want and we must have a structure on how we can measure it we can do this by habit tracking progress logging or eo reflections which means end of day week month or year reflections and to achieve these goals they have to be achievable. This is where realistic and timeliness tie in as well. Realistic goals set you up for success, while idealistic goals set you up for discouragement and disappointment. I.e., if your goal is to build a hundred billion dollar business by the end of this year and you're starting just today, that's probably not going to happen. It doesn't matter how much you want it or how much you believe in yourself. It's unrealistic. I doubt you're going to have the resources and to be able to allocate that amount of capital in the span of the time frame that you're giving yourself. Unless Jeff Bezos is feeling generous that day and decides to invest $100 billion into your company. I don't think that's happening. That's a very extreme example, but you get what I mean. You have to be realistic with your goals. That's what makes it achievable and doable. When we're setting goals, we have to be smart about it. We have to make it easy for us to achieve. The secret to achieving goals is not the intention, not the plan, and not the idea. It's the action. Actionable goals are achievable goals. If your goals are stressing you out, you need to rethink and renovate them. Goals are supposed to make your life easier and relieve tension, not to increase stress and induce procrastination. Use the SMART goal outline and ask yourself, S, what exactly do I want out of this? you need to define the results. M, what are the actions I must take to reach results? A, how can I optimize my lifestyle to make these goals achievable? R, am I being realistic or idealistic? Ask yourself with a realistic growth mindset. This will help you. And lastly, T, set a deadline and meet it. No excuses whatsoever. Goals are achievable when you are smart about them. All right, enough of the goal setting talk. Let's talk about the effects of monk mode after a week of trial. Let's talk about what I liked, what I believe I sucked at, and what I'm going to do differently. First things first, I was pleasantly surprised by how easy it was to meditate for 10 minutes. I would usually meditate for around 5 to 7 because I used to think that I would lose focus if I meditated for too long because that has happened before, but it was quite the opposite. I found it easier to meditate as I meditated longer. And meditation became the thing that I look forward to the most every single day. Okay, but now onto what I sucked at. <laughs> I thought this was going to be the easier part of monk mode for me, but it was actually the hardest. It was hard to stay focused for such a long period of time. Granted, maybe it was because this is my first time trying monk mode and such a specific setting and surrounding and regulation. So maybe I was just adjusting and adapting, but I think the main issue was my environment. And Iman talks about the importance of environment and I completely agree with it because I feel the same way too. Like my environment, my surrounding is literally a reflection of me. And I find like true importance of being in a very certain environment for certain things. But it just really surprised me at how affected I was in the environment that i'm usually in which is my house it really does not matter how sharp your focus is if your environment is not supporting what you need then it's it's going to make it 10 times harder for you to focus on what you need to do like when a family member 
talks to me or when my dogs jump into my bed and want to play with me sure it doesn't seem like a big deal at first because these interactions are so normal and they're so short and pure but it really breaks that energy flow and it makes it so much harder to submerge and stay in that deep state of concentration that was definitely the hardest thing i had to deal with this week so i'm going to do things differently next week i may need to ask people to give me peace and space while i am in my deep work intense focus zone um and i need to tell the babies that i can't play with them whenever they want they can't get cuddles whenever they want and that's going to break their heart and they're like outside right now trying to break into my office <laughs> they're needy see what i mean needy there are also some things i need to work out as well but i'm gonna figure them out along the way yeah so i need to work on my environment and trying to control it as much as i can all in all if you want to achieve your goals you need to go the extra mile you need to do what makes you uncomfortable and make sacrifices to be successful in what you do subtraction is truly better than addition less is more and more is less monk mode has been challenging but in a really good way i am really enjoying my time right now and i'm currently in the second week of monk mode as i'm filming this and I am doing so much better with my state of focus. Thank you all for watching and keeping up with the Snow Plenty journey. I am excited to see where it's going to take us. With that being said, that is all for this video and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye. Hi babes, back at home. Holy shit, this lighting is so horrifying. Back at home and I wanna show you guys what I got. What do you guys think? Do you like it? It is kind of big, but I don't mind it. I like it. When I was trying it on, the lighting was super weird. So I was like, this is a really weird looking pants. Like, it should look good, but why do it look so strange? But it actually does not look bad. Let me show you. I look really naked. I'm not, as you saw. So yeah, it looks like this. Like, it's just super relaxed, chill. It just fits super nice. My mom can wear it too, since we're like the same size. Overall, I really like the fit. Happy with this purchase. Now time to eat lunch. My mom made like this chicken dish thing. I love chicken, so let's go eat it. That that's not a, a little too vicious. I'm so sorry if you're vegan. <laughs>